everybody and welcome to part 9 or episode 9 of our Ravel search and rescue vessel build and uh, if this is your first time watching this video I suggest you go back to the beginning of the playlist and you can see this right through from the unboxing all the way up to where we are now and if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, press that notifications bell as well so you get notified as each video comes out. All right, so let's get on with what we're up to here. Now, before I talk about those, um, here are finally, I've done those two life rafts that I've been talking about for ages. These are the ones that don't get used until step 40 odd, but they wanted us to build them back here in step 23 so there they are so i've just painted them they're done with the photo etch on them and all i have to do with those is just here on the side i've been keeping these tiny little little um, buckles that go on the straps on the front of there which i'm leaving silver just so that they stand out so i'll put, i'll glue those on and then they're done and they'll get put away in the box for a later date. Now, let's put them up out of the way. So what I've also done is sprayed all the parts for on, in step 28 here. So there's railings in here, there's life boys, and there's another container, which I'm sure these are like Zodiac. Um, life rafts in there so they're all just done in the white now now they're these life boys have to be done orange a very bright orange which i've got it'll be the same orange that the other parts of the ship have now there's tiny little marks on little uh pieces here that i may do white i haven't been able to find a good photo on the boat of what these look like up close enough to see but either way i can just hand paint them on or i'll just leave them orange as they're saying in the instructions so they're done this piece here which is the other little zodiac uh, life raft there it's gonna focus for me doesn't want it does it there it is uh, there we go. So it had a couple of uh, straps around it as well. So now, unfortunately, it requested a couple of those little buckles on there as well uh, to be placed on them. And there was only one on the on the um, photo etch sprue. And I need two of them. And I don't remember what happened. Whether they're one short or I've lost one so I can't put both on uh, so I, I can't put one on so I won't put any on but what I have done is I've put it aside in the container here just in case it shows up <laughs> which is pretty unlikely but if it does then I can put it on afterwards and again it'll be I'll leave that uh, metal if I do have to put it on, but for the moment I'm leaving them just like that. And, uh, that's how it's supposed to be all white painted. So these are pretty much ready to go on the deck uh, where they're required, which is just in front of the winch that we did during the build there. Now, all this stuff is still drying. Like I literally painted these an hour ago and I still have to do those as well. So I'll be doing them. So that'll go on. That'll all be done a little bit later. Now for this, this is step 29, and this is to do with the big fire um, hoses or fire hydrants, I guess you'd call them. Now, these are really nice pipes, very detailed, and uh, they look really good. Now there's these little pieces here that go on as well. Now, one thing I noticed with the instructions here is it's a little bit confusing to say the least. We'll bring the camera down a bit. 
All right. So I'll just show you that these pieces named numbered F142. There's one, two, three, four of them. And the arrows point to the top of this where you put the four of them, which is they're saying on here, four of them attached to the side. And that's what they are there. They're just these little pieces. Now, the thing is, they don't go on here. Well, four of them don't. Two of them go on there. The other two actually go on the actual fire hydrant um, hoses or the fire hydrant guns, I guess you'd call them, um, that go on the top. I'm just trying to find... I had to jump ahead to, here we go, step 51, is it? Yeah, I think that one was the one I was looking at. No, I think it was further on again. Let me just work out where I was. Right. Okay, so it's step 52. So I had to jump to get a view because that seems to be when these are put on in step 51 and 52. But when you look at these, okay, it turns out that the other two of these actually go on these because you can see them there. Is that it there? Is that what I'm looking at the right thing? I'm just double checking. Yeah. So, yeah, there it is there. So you can just see on here, it's very difficult to, to know exactly how I mean, but yeah. So these pieces actually go on to these. So if you're actually if you're building this, you want to jump ahead and check that because these aren't very clear instructions on here. They're both pointing to this when there's only location points uh, on here, which is just there and there, or one there and one there, not the others. Okay. Now the other thing with these as well is there's photo etch to go on top on these as well so to the photo etch we we'll go and have a look here is all this and this now now what I've, i haven't looked at this completely just yet so i'm not really up to that point yet but these are the parts the plastic parts that come that go into here they're like I think you see it they're like little braces where it sits down on the deck and supports for the pipe well these you can throw them out no good you don't need them because all of that's replaced with photo etch so all this photo etch you can see on the bottom of these will need to be attached onto here and doing it this way before it goes on the deck is going to be the easiest way. It may not be as simple, but I need to paint this all in one piece because it's all white, whereas the deck's green. And it's literally impossible to, to be able to um, mask that all up on the deck without getting some white on there, um, on this, you know, without getting white on there because this is going to be green, all right? So you can imagine, so that's going to sit on there like that, and you go build these brackets. So the idea would be just to lower the whole thing down onto the deck and, and then glue it down. I'm pretty confident that will work. Pretty confident. We'll see how it goes. All right. Now, these required a little bit of cleanup. These are the actual fire hydrant guns at the top. And uh, there was a bit of seam work that needed to sand. I had to sand them back. Uh, but I tidied them up. They're all fine. Um, the end of here, I was going to paint that. Uh, 
I was going to put a hole in there and just drill a hole in the end, but then I figure, uh, look, I'll just touch the end with a bit of black paint to represent a hole in the end of that. All right. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. But you do find there are quite a few times where you've really got to go ahead in the instructions and find things. Um, for instance, while we're doing all the photo as you can see that railing that's sitting there. Well, that railing, going by the instructions, which we're at step 29 now, you're not actually told to put that in until way on down in step, uh, where was it, 38. Uh, so you're building up other superstructure and bits and pieces, and there's no reason why you couldn't put that in in step 29. Um, so, yeah, that, that happens quite a bit. Anyway, I'll, I will go by the instructions. I'll wait. I'll do the railings when they want. And uh, well, I'll get on with this. Uh, the next thing we'll do is I'll be probably um, get these things finished, the painting up and positioned on here. Now, there was one other thing, too, I wanted to mention. There are actually on the sprue uh, three of these life boys, these life boys, right? Now, it doesn't like to focus, does it? Okay, so there's three of them. So I figured, well, I might as well do all three. If I'm going to paint two, I might as well paint the three. Um, the third one's going to go somewhere. <laughs> Question is where? I've been right through the instructions. I see the two. They go on the railing on the back here. But as yet, I have yet to find any instruction or even a photograph picture in here of where this third one goes and i don't think it would be a spare i'm sure it will go somewhere so maybe it no it doesn't even go on the other little craft boat that goes on the back either i don't see it fitting so anyway i'll make up the three of them and put this away in the little box for future <laughs> attachments and uh, maybe it'll come up where it goes all right okay so i'll come back and we'll have a look at a bit more progress cheers back soon hey welcome back so i've just thought i'd show you a bit of progress got the um little bits of photo etch on as well as those other smaller pieces attached and uh you can see the little wheels on there. There's also some little pieces on here as well. There they are. And I'll tell you what, some of that stuff is so tricky to get on there. I've got to say, thank God for having some... The Icky Sticky Medium CA is great stuff. But to help with that, the CA Activator by Icky Sticky has really saved me a lot of work, <laughs> I tell you. Just to help attach things, because some of these attachment points are just nothing. You know, it's like the point, tiny little tip of metal to, for that wheel to go on. There's not, not even holes in the wheels for it to slip through. It's just got to sit up against the bare metal. That, um, But with a touch of activator, boom, as soon as you touch it, there it is, it's in its spot. So. So they've come up really well. Um, the other little black life rafts I painted that I showed you earlier that I tried to get the tape off. Um, I got the tape off, but I realized there was a little bit of, somehow I got some overspray on the black. So I've just done another little touch up of the black and they've come up fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is push that aside for the moment. And I've managed to get all of these all circled and ticked off as done for the little bits of photo etch there. The next part I'm thinking now will be to do uh, this piece of rail around the base, it's a small metal strip to replace the piece of plastic I took off. I might put that in place because I'm going to need that to just double check these struts fitting make sure they're in the right place 
and uh, that everything will fit once it goes down. And I'll start um, taking these pieces off the sprue and um, attaching them to to these, which is I'm expecting to be quite tricky. It's going to be a case of you know standing them in place on the platform this here having that in place and then positioning it and then just touching it with the glue and taking off but not letting it glue to the platform just letting them glue to the pipe for each individual piece and then come out come back and put these flat pieces on they all go on top of the pieces underneath if you know what i mean uh, and then once they're all in position on there it's just a matter of dropping this down into place on here but of course this has to be painted first which i guess is something i need to do at least get it undercoated so yeah a few things i need to be able to do today <laughs> all right so once again photo etch done on here we'll be back shortly okay welcome back so a little bit of time has passed that uh, I've managed to put on the railings here and the container that life raft is in there all glued in now there's some life boys to go on here and I'm just holding off on them there they are there now oh they really look yellow don't they they're actually orange uh, don't know why the colors like that anyway I painted a bit of white on there as well just to make them look a bit better that'll go one on the There'll be one on the railing there, one goes there. So what I'm about to do now is to cross off step 28 as now complete. Then we'll move on to step 29. Now the deck here is um, undercoated in the other room. I'm about to go and spray paint that green. And then we'll get back into working on all these um, sections of the um, fire hose um, pump and so forth that need to go on that top deck. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll get on to that and uh, once again be back again shortly. Okay. Welcome back. So let me just show you. I don't know if I already showed this or not. There's that little photo etch piece that goes around there. Now, it has to be white, so I've just primed it. Now I'm going to do a white coat, and then I'm going to um, mask it before I do the green that the deck is. Um, but in the meantime, what I've been working on is this pipe with all the pieces on it. Now, I've got a couple of tips if you're doing this. <laughs> is Right, so you've got to get these pieces here. See them there. They go in there at different angles to make up part of the structure that's supporting the pipe there. Now the instructions are over here with these four here and they show you the, well, from this direction, you're looking at the right-hand side, both from from this view and that view which is there to there and then the other one which other end I haven't started yet will be this one and this one now the tricky part here is getting these at the correct angle now fortunately I found that I can make this off the deck see this is where it's going to sit in here I've been building it off the deck which is good because the deck needs to be white, uh, green where this is going to be all white so I can spray it separately and put it all down in one piece. Now the tricky part is lining these up and getting them in their position and gluing them um, onto the plastic. And what I found, well first of all I struggle because I'm looking at these and I'm trying to get, alright so this one here is part 9079 and then you go over to here and there's um, the other part 62 and then you come over to this side looking at the other angle and there's another part there 62 which you don't realize is actually the same part because it's one piece that goes under the pipe 
So that's a little bit confusing. And then, of course, you've got to get the pieces, the triangular pieces in between and get them correct. And then after those, these pieces are put in, there's some flat pieces that go on the top that, that make the structure. See that? All right, so these pieces sitting on top are separate again. But then what I've realized is that these here, just move this across a bit, these are templates which are correct size, they're accurate um, scale, which means that you can come along with your piece, with your photo etch on it, put it over the top and line them up with the drawing like that and make sure they're straight. Okay, and not only that, but you can see the numbered pieces. So I know that that's number 48. That one there is 62, which goes between the two. All right, so point. Yeah, so that piece is 62. That bit in there is 48, and this piece in here is 47. Those ones are all attached here at the moment. I've still got to put number 79 in that goes there, and I can see the angle it needs to go in. And we'll sit and there's the piece there and that will go just pop into there and i'll glue that to the pipe another good um, thing here is i'm using the icky sticky thin ca because um, i put it on my little um, post-it pad here and then i come along with my tiny little piece of wire on the end of a pen and touch that to bring up just a fraction of it and then you just touch it and straight away because it's CA, thin CA, it runs between the join and it joins it straight away. And another thing, if you want to make sure that it stays exactly in place where you want it without any movement at all, I've been using the icky sticky CA activator. Okay. So basically give that a little wipe on the surface first, like I will for this one. Um, this comes with a little brush, makes it handy, so I'll just brush that in there, and then I'll come along with my, I won't do it now, but I'll do it off camera, I'll come along with my piece, and then just slowly put it in, and boom, and you got it, okay, that's the easy way, and then come back and just check your alignments, and make sure they're aligned, and then, as a double precaution <laughs> bring your piece over where it's going to go and put it in place and make sure it's sitting there because these pieces sort of line up to the edge of that metal photo etch strip around there okay so when you, you know they're in right place when they sit in there nice and neat like they have there all right it's fiddly work but it's getting there and it's quite satisfying when you get one done so all I have to do now is put this piece in and that, that side will be done. And then I'll go to this side. This template here is for the top pieces on the top of these. All right. So where that is angled, you see the angle on that. There'll be a piece, a flat piece that goes on there that just forms the shape. Uh, those pieces I haven't found on the edge yet. I'm guessing they will be... Uh, somewhere on here that looks like them there i will check and it looks like some of them may have to be bent to shape uh let me just check i'll come back in a second confirm that all right one second okay so two of the pieces will need a bit of a bend but you'll find there's a mark there for the bend see that there two little marks so they're there to mark where it bends up just a fraction You'll also find that on all of the pieces, there's, you can see the silver on them, and that marks the center where they will sit on those struts. So, for instance, that one that bends is going to go on the top of that strut. So that template there is pretty much guide, a guide. So what, what you would do is you would put your finished piece with all your piece struts on there, uh, over to this one now and you know that as you take these pieces off the sprue number 90 94 93 and 95 will go on the 
top edges of those struts. So, yeah, definitely worth it because if you look at the piece that the kit comes with and compare it, yeah, look at that. Terrible, eh? So, these will, be much, these will look much, much better. All right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue with this. I will go and spray this the white because I want that to dry. It's now quite early in the morning. I've got the full day to work on this. So uh, I'll, I'll spray this white, let it dry, uh, mask it up, and then I'll do the green. Now, with this deck, not all of it has to be green. Um, it's basically just around the outside because in here is the bridge area. Now, the bridge has no detail in this kit. There's no seats in there. There's no um, control panels or steering wheel or any of that in here at all. So I will either just leave that um, white or I may just paint it black because I don't think... I mean, there are windows all the way around the bridge on this ship. Um, and it's up to you if you wanted to put some scratch build, some detail in there. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Um, I may just uh, tint the windows a little bit so it's a little bit harder to see in there um, and be happy with painting the floor black. All right. Okay, I will continue on and um, we'll come back and have a look at this piece when it's all finished and ready to go on because uh, that will then complete step 29, which is, sorry, I've got a, quite a good mess happening here, but it's an organized mess. I, mess, I know where everything is. Um, so that will complete this. This is done. All that's done. You've seen that finished. And then we'll move on to what looks like uh, the beginning of the bridge area on top. So there'll be uh, sections going on here by the looks of it. Yeah. And again, the bridge area has some beautiful um, photo etch parts for it as well. I'll just give you a quick sneak preview, preview of what's going to be happening on that bridge area. So there it is there. All the windows have all the photo etch surrounds on it. There's spotlights on the top with frames that are made of photo etch and aerials. Uh, goes on. There's a photo etch pipe going down there because on the roof there's another water cannon which comes with quite a bit of nice photo etch on it there. Look at that. I'm really looking forward to putting all that together as well. So, yeah, fantastic. Okay, that's getting ahead of ourselves. All right, I will stop talking and uh, be back shortly. Okay, I'm back, and as promised, here's our piece completed, completely finished. So, as you can see, put all the braces on wasn't too bad went on pretty easily um, one thing I noticed was that a lot of them need to be bent um, into shape which was a little bit tricky but it was okay the one that I showed you earlier that had the little mark in it on the on the edge uh, was just a straight fold where it just needed to bend up a bit but there's some curves where they need to curve into the shape of these um, braces but Anyway, it's all gone on fine. And, uh, I'm really happy with the result. I've checked it and it fits nicely on the deck. That's good. I haven't got the deck out here to show you because I've just painted it, painted that photo etch piece around the outside white. I'm letting that dry. As I said, I'm going to mask that up and then do the deck green for everything else. But for now, um, this is ready to paint. Um, I'll, I'll undercoat this and then I'll do it the gloss white. Everything on here is gloss white except for this section in here, which these are red. Now, whether they're all red or not, I'm not sure. Let's see the shape of those with the photo etch on top. They look like they've got like um, uh, handles that open and close valves. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. 
and I'll have to have a look and see what is actually read. Um, but anyway, I'll get the um, the primer on that, and that's all fine. Now, I did these earlier, as you saw, right? These are the actual hydrant guns that will attach onto the top of these, like that sort of thing. Now, these, even though I put the photo etch wheel on them, um, and that's all ready, they don't actually go on there until step 51. And we're only on step 29. So, again, those will just get set aside. They're all, oh, by the way, they're all painted red. So they'll be a nice bright red. Um, oh, I might paint them somewhere between now and step 29 and, and step 51, but... Uh, or actually, while I'm doing the red bits on that other pipe, I may as well get these done too, So while I've got the colour out. So, going to the instructions, that actually, well, first of all, we'll look at the photo etch. So, yeah, all the photo etch. So, this is all circled, they're all done, that's all the braces underneath that pipe. All done, make sure you use that makes it easier don't just focus on this this is nice to see the, the, the view of it going on there but it's quite confusing if you try and follow that so that's all done it's all ticked off this is all ticked off here you'll notice that it has the um, railing in there that actually doesn't get put on for another half a dozen steps for whatever reason I don't know but yeah I might take it off just to give it the white paint while I'm, you know, doing that white after I've done that other bit red, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'll probably have that railing ready to go and add it to the little box for the later on bits. Um, so that lets us tick off step 28. That is all done. Just tick that off. Um, I did paint those. I'll show you those later. I've actually they're on the ship. So next time I've got the ship down on the dining table bench, <laughs> well, I'll show you. You'll see those. Um, these have to be glued onto this now, and then this finally gets glued down onto the top of here. And of course, we've got that little pipe in the back there, which is this one that uh, I need to paint white and uh, attach that so i need to just be sure that's going to fit under there before i put that down or do i need to put the pipe in first then put that down yeah so probably a good idea i gave, get this give this a bit of paint as well glad i checked <laughs> and that'll be just white all right from then we'll be moving on to step 30 which is uh all that area on top of what we've just been working on. We're starting to build, there's a couple of walls that go in each side. There's a section that goes along the front. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. I'll get all this area and we'll have the chip back down on the bench and um, get that all on. All right, as I say, back shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back. So, um, I've got all those parts dry, uh, painted and they're all drying with the undercoat and I'll be able to shortly put on uh, the white and the red where required. And while that's all happening, I thought I'd get on to some bits here. Um, these things here, I need to make 14 of them. I'm not even sure what they, exactly they are. Um, but... Um, 14, I yeah, might as well get them out of the way. I know that I'll be needing some possibly in the next step, step 30 we'll be doing. They look like, they're strange, they actually look like little hose reels. They've got the detail of hose reels. And yet on here, they've got one of them where they're painted red. Strange. Anyway. Um, so yeah, basically it's just... Um, folding these little pieces over, these tiny little bits of photo etch, and, and then uh, gluing these on top. So 
I'll slowly get my way through here. Um, I had almost had a bit of a disaster when I um, tried to, this OBS studio that I'm doing the recordings in converts the file to a AVI file, which I then edit in another program. When I went to um, stop recording for that part I recorded previously, there was probably about 20 minutes worth of video there. Uh, it failed to convert it into the Navy, an AVI file. I thought, oh no. So I went back, found a way in to click on the file and try it again, and it failed again. Or it, it recorded, but it came up with errors and it wouldn't play. And I thought, oh no. So 17, 18 minutes of video was actually about three days worth of videoing what I've been doing here <laughs> and it was not working so what I did was I got the MKV file which is the file that OBS Studio creates originally save that on a USB stick I do all this work on my laptop my laptop's sitting just over here then I took it from the USB over to my main computer my desktop open up um, OBS Studio there and then tried to move the file into the program and then convert it and fortunately it worked so whew, there we go so we didn't lose everything well a lot half of the video so good news um, then you wouldn't believe it I come back to my laptop and I come over and I go right I'm going to record these little bits of photo hitch and do this little recording I go and hit record and it tells me I uh, can't record not enough disk space. <laughs> so I've realized my laptop's filled up with so many recordings that I needed to delete uh, yeah, about a dozen of them to make up space. But we're all good now. Everything's recording. Everything's running fine. So we will continue. <laughs> so I'm going to work through these and we'll come back afterwards when uh, probably when I've painted the other stuff. Okay, back again shortly. Okay, welcome back again. Now, here's what I've finished those little bits and pieces of uh, lights, if that's what they are. Um, yeah, I've put, I only put a few together because I'm only going to need them first. And that's the four in here. We've got four of them put together there. Now, I've finished the pipe. So it's all painted up. See that there? With the bit in the center that's red. Now that's uh, ready to go down on the deck. I've also painted the pipe that goes in behind the winch. So that's ready to go on as well. And while I had the red out, as I was saying, I painted the fire hose nozzles there. There they are. They look a nice bright red. And so they're over to the side. They don't get used for quite a while. We don't get put on for a while. Put to the side. Now, I have the deck uh, green painted because I can't put any of this on until that deck's done. So that's drying and it's going to take pretty much till tomorrow. So I won't be doing anything about those. So I've moved on to the next step. Now, this is how I accumulate so much um, happening. It seems like there's a lot happening at once, but it's just waiting for things to dry as you can progress. So I've moved on to step 30 here because we can't put this down on there or, or any of that on there until this is paint, this paint's dried. Now, this in step 30 is on top of that, on top of that. Okay, so imagine, and there it is there, right? So we're building a frame that goes around, and here it is here. So this is a couple of side walls go around like this. There's this piece here, which goes on the front between the two. So that's all going to go on that deck. There's this section here that goes in between the two. Uh, roughly 
like that, which in which that sits up on there. Okay, so that's going to fit in under there. Now, this, and if you can see this, try and show you the detail. See, it has a bit of detail on here, on each end. That all has to be taken off. It's all going to be replaced with photo etch. And they are just controls for the steering of the ship that can be done up on above on this bridge area. So, yeah. So I need to uh, just take those off, which should, that should be easy. Um, I've got a little um, chisel that I'll just simply glide it across. They'll come off easy. Um, so that's that. I haven't, uh, I'll, as for the painting of this, this is all red. So all the way around on the outside of this is all red. Um, now, when I say red, it's sort of the same as the orange color, I think. I have to check if it's the orange color that's on around the, sh around the ship. Because going by the box art, it looks like it is, but it's actually stating in here that it's red. I'm just going to check. So we're looking at um, what letter do we need? Uh, I. Okay, so I is luminous red. Okay. Which I'll have to go back and check what color I did these other areas. Um, which was an orange color. So yeah, it is definitely red. So it is a different color. I will check on the actual boat as well. I'll have a look at some footage of that and make sure it's going to be red. So, so the outside of this will be red all the way around. Um, the top of this, going by the instructions here, has that as... Well, it's unusual because it's saying M for the controls, which is a black. That's okay. And then J, but it seems to be pointing to that edge. And J is our is white gloss. Actually, it's green. All right, I will check on that. I'll see what color that's going to be. I can't imagine this whole top area being green. I know that this part inside here is supposed to be green because they've got that as the same uh, J. So we'll check on that. I'll check with the actual ship. Um, and now I will probably be gluing all this together off the ship. I'll test fit it all on the deck first, but I'll, I'll put it all together off the ship and, be, and then get it all painted up. That would be the best way. All right. Now, I don't know if I'll get that done in this video or the next one. Um, but we'll see how we go. By the time I come back next time, we'll be putting all, all of uh, all these um, piping and so forth all down on this deck and get this deck down as well. Okay, all good. Again, I'll be back in a sec. Hello, welcome back. So, another day, another deck. We're going to put the deck on here. So, here it is, all painted up and uh, ready to go. Now I just did a quick test fit and it dropped into place perfectly. But it's not really perfectly because when I look up under here, it's not lining up with that wall that's in there. You see this piece here is not lining up with there. And it's off by, oh gosh, maybe like a millimeter or two. That's all. So what I'm saying is that this needs to go forward a little bit. And what else? And, and, and I need to make it fit because the... I keep touching it, falls through. These ramps here where the stairs sit against do not come flush with there. And I do need them to go up there so the top step is going to be equal and level at the deck. So the simple solution will be I'm just going to sand off... A little bit at the top here doesn't have to be much at all like i said maybe a millimeter that's all 
Um, the rest of it is fitting perfectly. I know it doesn't look like it is it's dropping straight through, but I put it in. Yeah. And trust me, so that's going to go on top. So what I'll do is, yeah, I'll, I'll go sand. I'll sand that and um, come back and we'll fit that because we need that on because we've got to start building up on here now and getting all this stuff done. And because this will be glued in place, we'll be able to put our, our um, ladders on or stairs on there as well. And that'll complete that section. All right. So, um, yeah, I'll go get my sanding paper and trim this back a bit. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so I've got this fitting now. I've sanded that back and it fits in there pretty much perfectly now. There's no gap anywhere. Exactly fine. Now, when I was doing that, I was thinking that um, something's not right. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. If I tilt this over, if you look through the portholes there, all right, you can see in there, there's portholes in the front as well that you can look in there. And they're not very big, but the problem is, and I'll just take this off, is that there's nothing in there. It's just empty. And it's not completely dark either because there's so many holes, like portholes all the way around. See, we've got all those on that side as well. And I'm thinking, well... You know, if someone's looking at this model, do you really want to look at this empty space in here? You know, I mean, this would be full of stuff, obviously, if this was the ship. There's no interior. So what I'm thinking of doing is I've got some styrene. I've got more than this, but I'm just thinking what I might do is put in a piece just a little bit back from the windows. Windows, portholes, I'll call them portholes. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble by Hibbo correcting me on the correct terminology. So just to put them back, I'll just put in a couple of pieces, just a little gap from the windows and across the front there as well. I'll paint it black or probably grey, and that will just fill in that gap. So if you do look in there, you'll at least see a wall, but you're not going to see any detail. I'll... I'll paint it grey, a dark grey, and um, I won't go as far as putting little, um, you know, boxes on there and pipes and things like that, because that, that sort of thing you're not going to see. This will block a lot of the light, just having that in there anyway, it'll be darker, but um, certainly don't want to be looking right through and seeing out the other side and seeing a hollow um, area, it's just not right. So I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go and cut a few pieces of these, um, paint them up. It won't take long. Stick them in there before I put the deck down. And just to fill that gap so that you're looking in there and you won't see, you know, empty. You know what I mean? All right. Think that's a good idea? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. All right. But uh, yeah. Okay, uh, back shortly and we'll have a look at, um, we'll come back when I've got these pieces all done and sitting in there and we'll have a look and then I'll be able to glue this on and we can continue, hey? Okay, back shortly. Okay, so I've made up the frame. You can see it in there. That's just going to fill the gap. It'll sit in there nicely like that. I just glued some together. I'll put that there just as a handle. I put uh, some little piping along the side, along there, just to give something to sort of break up the just the plain monotonous sort of thing. I mean, when you do look in through the porthole here, you're at that level where you can see that pipe running across there. So that's it. Now I'm going to do it uh, German grey. Uh, I'll use the SMS paint German grey. And I might, we'll see how that piping shows up. Might just highlight that a little bit so it stands out with like a bit slightly lighter grey. But uh, yeah, so that should uh, should be right. Uh, that piece, I only just glued that on there as a handle so I can hold it while I'm spraying it. 
take that off or leave it on there, it doesn't matter. Can't see it. Okay. Well, good. So I'll go and spray this now. Back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Gave this a bit of a paint as it came up like that. Just did a rough paint. I wanted the walls to have a little bit of detail in them. There's our pipe going across there. Same on the other side. That's come up nice. I put that inside. And there you go. Uh, it's a bit hard to see from here, but yeah, looking in the portholes, I can just see on this side the, the pipe. You can see that running across the back. From the front, it's a little bit far back. You can't really see. But uh, yeah, definitely looking better than having just a emptiness in there and being able to see through the portholes out the other side. All right, so um, I'll just uh, get this other piece, the deck. Um, we'll attach that on and then we'll get this video wound up. All right, be back in a second. I'm just going to glue this down now. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So as you can see, top's all glued down. Um, all nice and level all the way around. These parts clipped into position, so the stairs should go on really well. I haven't test fitted them, but pretty confident they'll be fine. And uh, yeah, looks really good. And of course, with the um, inside area darkened, uh, that, that's come up a lot better too. So that's all good. Uh, and there's earlier, there's the life boys on the railings there. Uh, I don't know why the camera shows them so yellowy, but they're actually an orange. So, um, yeah, well done. So that actually completes, let me check, yes, step 28 is all done. And this is ready to go now. So I pretty much, we've got all this made up with the pipes. You've seen all that. And that's all ready to go on top now that the deck's in place. But you'll have to come back and watch that in part 10 because we've shown, gone long enough on this one. So part 10, we'll definitely be putting all the piping in and then working on part 30, which we've got all the parts off for. And we're getting onto that little bit, that bit around there that's going to be painted red. And it actually has the um, Herman Marweed name of the ship on there as well. That, that's, got, that's a separate photo etch part that will go on later, which is sort of goes on the side of this. Okay. So, um, yeah, that'll be in part 10, episode 10. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it's free to subscribe and hit that notifications tab so you get notified when videos come out each week. And um, comment below. Please, your comments are great. I love reading your comments and um, been getting a few good tips out of them lately. And... Uh, it's good to see a lot of people are getting help uh, for this. And a uh, few guys, are, one, one fellow is planning on starting to build this in the next month or so. So uh, hopefully I can have been some assistance in at least stopping uh, many mistakes being made or uh, seeing the problems before you do. <laughs> uh, that's one advantage of uh, watching the videos. So, um, well, good. And... Um, Stay safe, and I'll see you all in part episode 10. All right, bye for now.